Good afternoon, guys. It's Donna. I um, just thought I'd come to you today and share a little something that uh, recently came up in my life. Um, in working in uh, helping a friend of mine, dear friend of mine's daughter, um, a topic came up recently, and we've talked a lot over the past two years um, about my weight loss, about food, about self-esteem, about self-worth, about numbers, about uh, nutrition, uh, and as much as I could share, um, I have, and yet I was wanting more information on how to help. Um, you know, I'm always, you know, knowledge is power and, you know, helps put things into perspective sometimes. But I found myself reaching out instantly, right after the conversation with the young lady, to Robin Phipps Woodall, who instantly communicated with me. And after some conversation, she said, you need to get this book for her, for you. And I thought it could really relate in our community. Um, maybe not directly to some with their own. Maybe some of my friends that are raising young teenage daughters. Um, upcoming parents. Um, the challenges of today uh, in society and um, self-worth. And, you know, it relates to a lot of the younger women I follow on HCG um, that are pretty close to uh, this scenario. Um, I immediately went and bought the book. It is called Reviving Ophelia, Saving the Selves of Adolescent Girls. And interesting enough, it is a Lifetime Movie Network movie, and I went on there to see if it was airing anytime soon, and come to find out my daughter and her girlfriend had already seen the movie, and um, we're reviving that movie, and going to sit and watch it. I couldn't find it airing anywhere, it wasn't on Netflix or any of that stuff, it's a Lifetime thing, so um, I did find a YouTube channel. Uh, that had it broken into six parts, so I created a pay playlist, and I'm going to make it public in case anybody would like to go take a look at it. It's um, got a little piece in there from the author, uh, Mary Piper, and um, I also put in a vlog of Robin Woodall's from Weight Loss Apocalypse in there um, in reference to closet eating. And I'm um, going to share it with my girls. So, uh, and I got the book for one of them to read. Well, both of them to read. Uh, but I immediately went and watched the movie on YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, boy, I can see how um, so many us, of us have um, been there, you know. Uh, been through these stages of relationships and self-worth and self-esteem and uh, you know I want to do everything I can to help the young ladies and you know young men in my life uh, develop into strong strong people that they don't have to go through you know we can only save them so much from themselves as teenagers but um, you know we constantly provide a decent foundation uh, they can build on that. Um, they can grow and go through their life experiences that we can't save them from, but um, we just might be able to save them from some that a lot of us have experienced and suffered and healed through this HCG protocol. I did a lot of um, work on myself from my relationship issues with my father. Um, when I was around 28, 29, and saw a therapist about, you know, letting go of the anger and taking control of my life as a 
30 year old woman and not inviting in some of the damage into my future. And um, then again, in uh, 2000, when I uh, was battling cancer and I had a um, my first very mutilating surgery, attacking my body image, my self-worth, identifying me as a woman, and did a lot of work. So I had done so much work on me and loving myself prior to even starting HCG, thank the Lord. But let me tell you, it went a step further with HCG. It went a step further with this community and sharing. And um, I continue to evolve, evolve and I still continue to evolve. So first and foremost, I want to thank you, Robin, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you much, very much for always being there for me and for sharing this information. And, uh, you know, Robin's a great resource of tons of information. She has directed me to so many books, uh, you know, boom, right there, just what I need. Powerful, knowledgeable woman. So I thank you very, very much for everything you do. If you haven't read her book, Weight Loss Apocalypse, read it. <laughs> Just like pounds and inches, read it, reread it, read it. Uh, do the work on yourself. Do the work of the protocol. And, you know, I would have never imagined, you know, I'm almost at my two-year anniversary from starting HCG. February 9th, 10th, 11th, something like that. I'll have to go back and look. But uh, starting at 270 pounds, you know, obviously my body image uh, was not great. My worth was attacked left and right, um, even with the work I had done previously. So, needless to say, by the community, friends, love, support, family, I'm 144 pounds today, from 270 pounds. I feel healthy, happy, whole, vibrant, even with, you know, some medical, chronic medical issues, you know, I have MS, I, I have a heart condition, I have some genetic predispositions to heart condition and, and, and different things, but they don't define me in any way. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying you can overcome the obstacles and find um, the sun shining I've said it before. You might just have to pull open the curtain, but but the the light is there. Let it shine through. So um, hopefully it's not too off base from um, you know I know it's long and I know everybody has uh, views in their blogs and their queue, <laughs> but um, you know maybe it would help somebody. So I love you all. Have a wonderful blessed Sunday. Bye.